everyone, welcome back to my show. Today we are going to be making the Shazwan sauce. So as I told in the uh, Pani noodles video, Pani Hakka noodles video. So today I am going to be making the video of Shazwan sauce. So here we have garlic, tomato puree. I use 5 tomatoes. You can use more or less. This you can use in all Chinese dishes, this dish. And here is some cornstarch. It is made by mixing corn flour and some water together and mixing it completely. And there are no lumps. So then here there is some onion. I used few onions here, some salt as per taste. And here is some uh, red chili powder. And here is uh, some chili. And here are the sauces. And we'll also need some oil. Here are the sauces we are using. Chili tomato sauce. You can use normal tomato sauce. And here is uh, soya sauce. This is red chili sauce. So now here we have heated the pan on high flame. And now we will put in the extra virgin oil wine. So put a good amount. We will be needing more oil because we have more onions and garlic. So put a good amount of oil. Then we will be putting the garlic. So here there are lots of garlic so we will be putting some amount of this. And then give it a quick stir. Okay, so here the garlic has not turned brown but it has turned a little bit golden on high flame we are doing this. So now, you can see it has started sizzling. Don't let it burn. And now, we will put in the onion. So put in all the onion and give it a good mix. And mix it all together here and we will let the onions turn translucent so now the onions have become translucent over here you can see now we will add the chili you can add it according to your taste you cannot add it also so just add some of uh, some chili if you want and give it a good stir and now just add a pinch of salt because all we will be putting the sauces and those have salt also so now just put the tomato sauce and uh, mm -hmm. first we will be putting the red chili powder which is as per your taste it will give a, a bit of redness in place of red chilies so you can see it has become red slow. and now we will put it on slow and now it's time to add the sauces so here put a good amount of tomato ketchup And give it a good stir. Now we will put chili sauce. Very little. Now we will put the soya sauce, this will give a really good color. So just put it so that it gets a good color and it also gives its own flavor. Now we will just let, uh, just mix it very quickly for few seconds. And now 
we will add one of the main ingredients that is the tomato puree which is of 5 tomatoes so just put it in and you can increase the flame again so now mix it all together and now the Szechuan sauce is almost done okay so now five minutes are over and uh, keep stirring it and now for the good consistency we will put this cornstarch put it all in and now we will let the water evaporate and you will see that the consistency becomes thicker and thicker and this is um, now after this the sauce will be completely ready and let the oil float to the top the oil also helps in preservation so now let it just become thick so now we will let it cook for about um, 3 minutes 2 minutes ok so now the sauce is ready complete you can see the oil floating on the top so now it is ready and you can see it has a really nice consistency and now you can eat it with roti, uh, rice or just like that also if you want and then you can even put it in all the Chinese dishes to enhance the flavor and it is a very good thing to put in noodles uh, or even if you want to make a little, uh, little bit Chinese type pasta or anything you can just put this and add a bit of soya sauce ok so now it's time to taste this dish as you can see it's a rainy day also today so now I'm eating this with some roti and now we will taste this chutney and let's see how it is mm. this is very very good and very easy to make it's even better than the ones you get in those bottles and all and this is without preservatives the only preservative in this is the natural olive oil and this tastes really really good put it in all your Chinese dishes and enjoy it ok bye everyone and I will see you in my next video bye